Hi CMA friends and family, I'm Kelsey Long and welcome to this week's episode of the CMA News Minute. Clearwater Marine Aquarium's Research Committee is excited to partner with Ecker College on a brand new project to study the behavior profiles of our two rough-toothed dolphins, Rex and Rudolph. CMA is one of only two facilities in North America that has this species of dolphins in human care, and very little is known about them. Through this collaboration, not only are we providing unique hands-on research opportunities for the students at Eckerd, but we are also gaining valuable information about Rex and Rudolph's behavior profiles, which will help with their daily care. As a working marine life hospital, CMA performs life-saving surgeries on rescued animals, like removing Pat's tumors from green sea turtles in rehabilitation. Here's Dr. Shelley to tell us more about that surgery and why it's needed. This morning we did pap removal surgery on two different green sea turtles. Fiber papilloma is actually a virus that causes these tumor-like growths on the skin, the shell, and different areas of the body, particularly important on the eyes, which can impede their ability to find food. These tumors are removed uh, in a couple different ways. We use scalpel blades, uh, mainly on the eyes. This is an extremely delicate tissue, so you have to be very careful and have very precise movements. With the rest of the body, we tend to use a CO2 laser, and this is a really nice surgical piece of equipment that allows you to cut and also cauterize at the same time. Time, so it minimizes the amount of blood loss. Summer is right around the corner and Clearwater Marine Aquarium proudly offers a wide variety of educational summer camps, including in-person and virtual. Each summer camp is a one-week session and runs Monday through Friday. Locals and visitors can enjoy our camp offerings, which include boating, snorkeling, kayaking, and meeting our resident animals. Give your kids a summer camp they will never forget by registering online today. And you can check out our website, cmaquarium.org, for more information. Well, that's it for this week's episode. I'll see you next time.